hello. <laughs> um, so we have an unboxing today. Breath of Fire 2 from Game Boy Advance from KB Toys. Uh, <laughs> it is um, factory sealed still, never been opened from KB Toys. KB Toys, um, I've never been to one, but um, from what a brief Wikipedia glance told me, um, they rebranded as Toys R Us. And Toys R Us has been out of business for a little while, just recently. So, yeah, a long gone relic of the past. This thing right here. So this was a game that was originally created for the um, Super Nintendo. Um, and then when the Game Boy Advance came out, they did a bunch of remakes of older games, this being one of them. Um, I had been looking for the Super Nintendo cartridge of this game, um, but then I found that the Game Boy Advance uh, updated version is actually a little bit better in terms of toning down the grindiness of the JRPGs, um, which was common at the time to be really grindy. So we're going to be opening this thing, which is pretty crazy. I'm kind of scared to do it, but I mean, it's going to be done. <laughs> so let's go. Um, let's see. I remember when I was a kid now, because um, I had, was talking with someone, we were both looking at this sealed, and we're like, I, I don't remember the plastic being on it, but it must have been when we were kids. And now that I'm actually pulling at this, I'm starting to get flashbacks. <laughs> I think I probably used my teeth more than once. Oh my god, it's, it's strong. It is, it is strong plastic. I might need to like get, like, Scissors? Or actually use my teeth? No, no. I have to be professional here. Oh, no. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it in frame. <laughs> this is what it was like back in the day. <laughs> Maybe if I try another spot. I don't know, like I've gotten it to- oh! It has officially been opened, unsealed, market value down. <laughs> okay. Must be a really a common thing, opening up these these packages when I was a kid. I did it all the time, and I was just like, "Give me the game!" Just quickly grabbing it and breaking it open. That was the cat. And now it's just, it's almost sacred. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. Let's open this and see what's inside. So, oop, normally you get this insert here. It's like an important thing to look for if you're ever going for like boxed Game Boy Advance games. I wouldn't recommend going for too many of those. <laughs> Any, any box game of like the old days, because they're cardboard, I'm sure they're going to be way more expensive. Um, but you get the insert here, get the Game Boy Advance game, and it's a little plastic, uh, plastic, oh, plastic bag. <laughs> That's what I get for looking at the camera for a second. Totally official, baby. Brand spanking new. 
in the back here, we'll get our, our manuals and stuff. Aww. <laughs> All right, so the Game Boy Advance came in other different colors, but that was like the flagship one that you saw all the time. Glacier, that was actually the one that I had, or have. I still have it, <laughs> even though I'm gonna be reshelling it. Subscribe to Nintendo Power and receive a free gift. <laughs> free with a paid subscription. Um, I used to subscribe to Nintendo Power and it used to be really good. They had rebranded, um, their logo uh, used to be like a, oh, there it is, a subscribe for a whole year. Their logo used to be kind of yellowish, and that's when it was good Nintendo Power. When they rebranded and they had a white Nintendo Power logo on the top, that's when they started kind of going downhill, I think, um, because I always got like really good free stuff. I was able to get game guides super easily. I would resubscribe for the year. I'd get a game guide for the game that I had gotten for my, I, like either my birthday or Christmas, and it was great. Um, so yeah, this is just the sign me up thing. Yeah, see, there's the the white Nintendo power <laughs> starting to go downhill. Sound or strategy, a subscription bonus. Oh yeah, see here it is. You'll get one of two great gifts. The latest issue of Nintendo Power Advance, which includes a Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2 strategy guide, or a pair of Nintendo Power Advance headphones. I did not get the, <laughs> I did not get the headphones, obviously. I always went for the guides. <laughs> it's your choice. Yeah, see like, they used to give out really cool stuff. That and Club Nintendo, like, it was, it was really good. I really enjoyed it because I wanted to support those things because I got really cool content. So here's our, our game guide and then the normal info packet that these things would come with. It's not all that interesting. It's pretty standard. We're gonna put that over there. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, full color. Seizure warnings, battery leakage, the usual. Now what I'm interested in, and I don't know for sure, uh, how accurate, like obviously this is edited because it's for the Game Boy Advance, but the uh, Super Nintendo had like its own manual as well, and I'm wondering how similar these are, you know? Like, it's obviously gonna have different control schemes and all that. Weird, they went with like a hot pink. <laughs> Trading with Game Link. Oh, I didn't even know you could trade stuff, my goodness. You can help each other out by exchanging items. Dang! I have a Link cable, but I only have one Game Boy Advance, so doing this solo. <laughs> I mean, come on now, how, how Cool is it back in the day as a kid having two Game Boys and being able to link them, trading your own Pokemon. I mean, it's kind of sad trading Pokemon between yourself with your two cartridges, but I always like daydreamed of being able to do that as a kid because <laughs> I lived out in the woods and I only had one other person to trade with and that only lasted till uh, the second generation. Then she stopped playing. So yeah, Fusion and Fire. I've played Breath of Fire 3, it was really cool. Uh, I never got a chance to beat it, and then I was really interested in this game, so I wanna play this one all the way through first, and then go back to Breath of Fire 3. Cause I think it'll be easier that way. <laughs> Cause this is the older one, so it's not gonna be, you know, uh, as polished probably. Nina can suspend the scouting party in the air. Oh my goodness. What can Bo do? He can hunt. I mean, are we gonna need to feed the party? Oh, if a boulder is blocking your way, you can have Cat lead the party. It's just like Pokemon with all the HMs. Rand, Spin Dash. During spin dash round, Rand rounds his body and rolls on the ground. This is cool, 
cool. I like how like uh, they all have abilities that can work out like outside of battle. It looks like that also makes them really useful to have. Because I know with JRPGs you have a lot of swapping. Um, in Breath of Fire 3, you can only have so many people on the party at once. But it looks like you're going to want to have... Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to get these mostly in, in a frame while I'm reading. It looks like you're going to need to switch between these guys frequently. And then we have our game setup stuff. Sexy lady. Exploration. can save your game at the church. All right. You can also save your game at a dragon shrine. Field commands. Oh my gosh. I don't know who you are, girl, but I like you. And the normal stats for an RPG. And there's Ryu. abnormal status. <laughs> like to think unconsciousness is abnormal. Hmm, fusion with two shamans. Okay, so that's interesting. Fusion is a way to significantly improve character abilities instead of leveling up. Huh. Don't remember that from the third one. Oh, I do remember the, the town thing. In mine, you could like create a fairy village. So that's cool. I'm not sure if maybe this fusion is the dragon fusions? I don't know. I'm not sure how changing into a dragon works in this game, because in the three, you have like genes you collect, which is pretty cool. Miso soup! Ah! <laughs> I love it. Green magic. Dragon transformations. There we go. Only Ryu can use this special ability only and only after he awakens his dragon blood. Oh, okay. So you have ice, fire, and thunder in this game only. Fair enough. Not as cool. <laughs> but it's still going to be pretty awesome. I'm still excited. And then the credits, all important. Oh my god, the hint line. <laughs> uh, do you want to spend money or do you want to Google? <laughs> I feel like in Game Boy Advance's day, like the internet was good enough where you just you would just ask the community for help. Printed in Japan. So that is our unboxing here. Um, now what I like to do. I'm going to be taking the actual box um, and the components therein and saving it in plastic so that it'll stay safe. Actually, I'm putting this in the wrong way. And for actual game use, I'm going to be taking one of these guys. So what I like to do is uh, keep my older games, well keep any of my games really in plastic cases. Um, I feel like it stores better that way. So this is um, one of the original DS, Nintendo DS game cases. Um, the older ones had this Game Boy Advance uh, holder in them. Um, I scored out, ooh, my goodness, still got, it's, it's not pretty, um, but I squirt out the uh, plastic uh, line that used to be here. Um, kind of, I mean, it, yeah, it's just basically was just a line like that here. Um, because doing that allows me to fit the Game Boy Advance sized manuals in them. Now I know that there are um, custom uh, third party creators that make 
um, like custom Game Boy, a Game Boy Color game cartridge holders that are just basically the same dimension. Um, and I, I think they make Game Boy Advance ones as well, but I figured why not use what I already have. Um, I had gotten a few of these back in the day when uh, Nintendo was selling them. Um, so we're gonna be using that. I'm just popping this. I wanna do it gently. <laughs> popping it right in there for storage. It's first time. And we're gonna put our uh, manuals in here. And see, it, it just fits. It's, it's nice. I like it. So we can put all of our goodies in here. And it's not as um, official looking as I would like since it has the DS cartridge thing there. But like I said, it works. Um, maybe someday I'll get the, the custom, um, custom made Game Boy Advance ones. But for now, this works. So I have now a case that I can use to store the game in my gaming cabinet. Um, and at this point I use uh, the cover project system. So I was going to basically copy this and put it here as the, the paper artwork to put in the sleeve. Um, but I found out that this image is part of a larger image and I kind of liked the feel of that. And normally I try to really be as accurate as possible in recreating the box um, with certain concessions be needing to be made because the spine is much thinner. Um, but I figured, you know what? Uh, this is my setup. This is my own art project, my own homage to, to all of this and why I really like it. Um, so I ended up printing out uh, this right here that I will be cutting and putting in in a moment. Um, so this is the larger image. Um, she looks a little bit darker. <laughs> it's not super color accurate. Um, I've been having a hard time fighting with my printer, but it's good enough for right now. I actually have a few of these that I want to reprint in the future with the proper paper too because um, the DS ones, they have a little bit of gloss to them. It makes the darks really rich um, and smooth. Like the blacks in this can kind of see, yeah, they're not completely, completely true black. So um, it's, it's an ongoing art project, but I'm really, I'm proud of it so far. It looks good so far. So I'm gonna cut this out and then we're gonna put it in the case. Okay, so here we go. We have it all cut out and we're ready to put it in our case. Just gotta be careful. Not have it just slide around. <laughs> it'll be a nice clean fit and I won't have to do any trimming looks like I might have to do some we'll see huh that's a little tight you can see here so I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming and come back Okay, and there should be a nice snug fit here. Looks pretty good to me. So there we go. We have our Breath of Fire 2 case that we can put away next to all the other games and it will look really, really nice. So I hope that you enjoyed my little unboxing here that I did for these, for this game. Putting a game from one box to another. 
and uh, thanks for watching.